Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about mathematical analysis of recursive algorithm. In the previous class we discussed about mathematical analysis for non-recursive algorithm. So the main difference between recursive algorithm and non-recursive algorithm is in recursive algorithm it contains recursion inside. So a recursion is nothing but the function calling itself. Non-recursive algorithm is nothing but it contains iterative loops while loop, do while loop or for loop. So if the algorithm contains loops, it is known as iterative algorithm. If the algorithm contains recursion inside, it is known as recursive algorithm. So let's see, a recursion, a recursive algorithm is that in which the algorithm is called repeatedly until certain condition is reached. So the function calling itself until the condition is reached is known as recursive algorithm. So the algorithm should have stopping condition. Otherwise, it will execute infinite number of times. Recursion can be implemented in two ways. One is direct recursion and another one is indirect recursion. So direct recursion is nothing but the function calling itself is known as direct recursion. So here one function is there. The function name is find factorial. So inside this function we are calling again find factorial. This type of function is known as direct recursion. This type of calling is known as direct recursion. Okay. So first we are uh, passing one number. For example, number is 5. If number equals to equals to 1, it will return 1. Else it will return number into find factorial number minus 1. So again it will call but this time the input is 4. Okay. So in this way, if the number is 5, it will return 120. Factorial of 5 is 120. This is known as direct recursion. The next one is indirect recursion. The indirect recursion is nothing but the function calls itself by using another function is known as indirect recursion. So here it contains two functions. One is even and another one is is odd. So in is even we are calling is odd. In is odd we are calling is even. This is known as indirect recursion. So the next one is Mathematical analysis for recursive algorithm. So I already told for analysis of algorithm we have four different ways. One is anal uh, analysis of algorithm framework. The second one is asymptotic notation. The third one is mathematical analysis for non-recursive algorithm. And the fourth one is mathematical analysis for recursive algorithm. So these four ways are used to find the efficiency of algorithm in terms of time complexity and space complexity. So here by using mathematical analysis of recursive algorithm, we can find out the efficiency of algorithm. So for that it contains one general plan. So this is same as non-recursive algorithm. First three steps same as non-recursive algorithm, just two steps are different. So the first one is we need to find out the input size. Okay. The second one is we have to find out the basic operation and the third one check whether the basic operation is executed number of times or not. So here fourth one is set up recurrence relation with appropriate initial condition and final condition. And the fifth one is solve the recurrence relation. Okay recursive function. So let's see this is the example. The function name is fact number for suppose I am calling the function and passing 5. Okay, so number contain 5. If number is equals to 1, so number not equals to 1. So that's why it will let, it will go to else part. So number is 5. 5 into fact of number minus 1. That means 5 minus 1, 4. So 5 into fact of 4. Again, we are calling this function. Now this time number is 4. So 5 into 4 into fact of 3. So 5 into 4 into 3 into fact of 2. 5 into 3, 4 into 3 into 2 into fact of 1. So number equals to 1 means it will return 1. So that's why. So the whole condition is 5 into 4 into 3 into 4, 2 into 1. So it will return 120. Okay. Now we have to find out the time complexity for this algorithm. So this is known as recursive algorithm, right? Why? Because it contains recursion, the function calling itself. So that's why it is known as the recursive algorithm. So the first point is find out the input size, input parameter size n. So I took n value 5. So that's why here 5. The next one is basic operation. 
so here basic operation is multiplication so every time we are doing 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so multiplication is basic operation the next one is reason reason for basic operation is executing number of times so the reason is as n is non-negative integer and it starts reducing 1 for each recursion so 5 into reducing 1 means 4 reducing 1 means 3 5 into 4 into 3 so number of times we have to reduce to find the factorial so that is the reason next the fourth point is what is the fourth point set up recurrence relation with appropriate initial condition so the initial condition is t of n minus 1 plus 1 so we are the initial value 1 okay so final value is n minus 1 so t of n minus 1 plus 1 so this is the initial condition and the fifth step is solve the recurrence relation okay so if observe carefully here fact of number minus 1 if we are reducing if we reduce the number minus 1 how many times it will execute it will execute one time that means for every iteration it will execute one time okay so 5 into fact of 5 minus 1 so it is executing one mind one time next for the next purpose 5 into 4 into fact of n minus 1 that means a 3 see here for first time if t of n minus 1 it will execute one time for 3 i mean if the value is 4 it will execute one time if the value is 3 it will execute two times if the value is 2 it will execute three times so we we will ignore the constant values okay so here we will ignore the constant values how many times it will execute based on the input value if the value is 5 it will execute five times if the value is 10 it will execute 10 times that means 9 into 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into like that okay so therefore the time required for this algorithm is order of n time complexity in finding the factorial of number is order of n so in this way we can find out the time complexity for recursive algorithm i hope it is clear if you have any doubts regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section for more videos please do subscribe my channel thank you